this module, we're going to calculate some required thicknesses for dished heads with and without manholes. So we'll see the procedure for calculating either of those. Okay, so I have my question here. Determine the minimum thickness in millimeters for an unstayed dished head with a MAWP of 1410 kPa gauge made from SA285A and the average wall temperature 439 degrees Celsius and the head is dished to an inside radius of 506 millimeters and is attached by welding to a drum with a diameter of 582 millimeters. If the head is blank and no manhole is the first case that we want to calculate for and the second case is going to be if the head has an approved manhole um, exceeding six inches in size. So, so we're going to have to use the manhole clauses. Okay, so I have my uh, equation over at the side here. Um, I have my dished head and thickness is going to be 5PL divided by 4.8 SW. So um, same process that I've gone through, I'm going to write that out. So thickness is equal to 5PL over 4.8 SW. And then I'm going to make a list of all the stuff that uh, I need to know. So I'm going to need to know P, I'm going to need to know L, I'm going to need to know S, and I'm going to need to know W. Okay, and now I go and read the question and see if I know any of those things. Okay, so P is going to be my pressure, uh, 14, 10 kPa gauge. Remember that we want that to be in megapascals is our standard for pressure. So 1.41 MPa and gauge is the pressure that I want. Okay, L is going to be the inside radius that it's dished to, so 506 millimeters. Now that may change, right? We have cases where that L value may have to be increased or de uh, increased anyways inside of our calculations. So I'm going to leave that for now, uh, but we're going to have to go back and revisit it in the second part of this question. Um, and I have S, so we're going to go and look for our material. So we have SA285A at 432 or 439 degrees. 285A, 439. All right, so I'm going to scan down to my material properties. And here we go. So it looks like I have my 285A. It is a plate, so that's good. So we're going to remember line six. Scroll down to my next grouping, and I see that line six is allowable for section one up to 482 degrees, so that's good. And if I keep going down to line 6 at 439, um, of course we don't have 439, so I'm going to round up to the next largest temperature, and I would have a stress of 56.1. And just double check, that is in megapascals, so 56.1 megapascals. So my S value, 56.1 megapascals. I won't go back through it again, but similar to we've done before, my W value ends up being 1. Um, I don't have a designated material, and I'm not hot enough to designate that it's going to have any uh, defects under high temperature creep. Okay, so looks like I have everything that I need. And if the head is blank and has no manhole, then part A, I can just throw this into my equation. So thickness is going to be equal to 5 times 1.41 times L, 506, divided by 4.8 times my strength, 56.1 times W, which is 1. And I would have a required thickness of 5 times 
five times one point four one times five oh six divided by four point eight divided by fifty six point one and divided by one gives me a thickness of thirteen point two five millimeters. Okay. Um, if I had a code approved manhole, I have a few extra things that I need to do. So in my part B, the first thing that I want to do is check my L upon D. Okay, so my L value is 506. Um, and that is divided by my diameter, 582. 506 divided by 582. And what I have is 0 0.869. Okay, so what we would want to do is compare that to 80% or 0 0.8. And if L wasn't large enough to get at least 0 0.8 there, then I would set my L value to 80% of D or 0.8 D. But this confirms that L is large enough, so it's at least 80% of D. Uh, so I'm going to keep L as is. Okay, so I can go and calculate my thickness. And so just like I did before, my thickness in part B is going to be equal to 5 times 1.41 times 506 divided by 4.8 divided by 56.1 and multiplied by 1. And just like we had before, I would get a thickness of 13.25 millimeters. Okay, But because I have a manhole, the code says I need to add thickness. And in the case of a manhole, now I have to add either three millimeter or 15%, whichever is larger, whichever is larger. Okay, so uh, in order to find that, I'm gonna take 13.25 and multiply it by 0 0.15 and let's see if it's larger than three or less than three. So 13.25 times 0.15, and that gives me like 1.99 millimeters. So clearly the three millimeters in this case is larger. So I'm going to add three millimeters as it's the largest. So my thickness is going to be equal to 13.25 plus 3 is going to be equal to 16.25 millimeters. And that would be my required thickness for my dished head with a manhole. Okay. Now, both of these have to go back and review back to is it, what is it compared to the shell? the uh, seamless shell of the same same diameter um, under the same conditions. And we could go back to our piping calculations and use our values to figure out what our thickness is and compare it to that. Okay. In our class, what I'm going to ask you to do is calculate the thickness that the code tells you uh, through those calculations. What should the thickness be? according to that series of calculations, okay? So you don't need to go back in our class and double check the, the diameter, although that is what the code is asking you to do as well. So double check against that.